Another big day in the trial against the men accused of plotting to kidnap the governor. Prosecutors today playing recordings and reading messages revealing the extreme nature of the beliefs held by the defendants. Let's bring in our Grant Herms now. And Grant, you listened in all day. What were jurors able to hear? Well, jurors were able to hear and get a glimpse into the minds of these men and that their views just for anti-government, but those extremes extended to other violent ends. We also got a look at their original plan to bomb the Michigan Capitol. On the stand today, one of the key informants for the prosecutors, a postal worker and army veteran who was led to the Wolverine watchman by a suggestion from Facebook. The informant also revealing to the jury for the first time recordings that show the tangled web of extreme ideologies held by members of the group. While they have said they aren't a white supremacy group, members including Adam Fox and Barry Croft were both supportive of the Boogaloo movement, which pushes for a civil war or race war. Followers often wearing Hawaiian in shirts. Another member, Brandon Caserta, making explicit anti-Semitic statements, including I want Zionist banker blood. Recordings and messages also revealing militia members called for killing doctors, encouraging vaccines. One member writing in the group's encrypted chat app, I think some medical fascists are going to need a vibe check real expletive soon. Bullet to the face right at their own home. Buildings that manufacture vaccines, blow them up. Bombs and improvised explosives at the Michigan Capitol were frequently discussed as the original plan before the plot to kidnap Governor Whitmer. The group's leader, Adam Fox, telling the informant he was inspired by Oklahoma City bombing terrorist Timothy McVeigh, telling the informant, if we can't have our world, they can't have theirs. Burning it down, making the world glow. And one alarming piece of testimony in a day full of alarming testimony was that they originally wanted to use a rally at the Capitol in Lansing as cover to whip people up into a riot. And it's not hard to see parallels between that plan and the plans that we now know happened on January 6th during the insurrection. We also know because of a separate court case that a man who was arrested from Michigan as an attacker on the U.S. Capitol had a direct contact and communication with members of this group trying to kidnap the governor. That is a different court case. This court case will be back in court in Grand Rapids on Monday. Back to you. Yeah. All right. Grant, thanks.